your lymphatic system plays a major role in the body. One of the major things it does in the body is it helps with the immune system to help protect against illnesses or infections. It also carries or transports proteins throughout the body, which can help detox from any toxins or bacteria. If the lymphatic system gets backed up or it's not working correctly, that can cause swelling throughout the body, but it can also lead to a higher risk of getting infections or illnesses. Great ways to keep the lymphatic system healthy are to drink plenty of water and to get exercise. Another really great way to help with the lymphatic system is to do lymphatic drainage massage. My name is Kelly, I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphatic health with lymphedema as well as oncology. On this channel, I do a lot of different videos on lymphatic drainage for various parts of the body, for those with lymphedema as well as for general health. But today in this video, I'm gonna do a highly highly requested video to do lymphatic drainage massage for the entire body. Now this routine is going to be done for someone who has a healthy lymphatic system, meaning they don't have lymphedema or they have not had lymph nodes removed. And if you have, you're going to have to alter this routine. It's always best to work with a certified lymphedema therapist to get personalized guidance because this is just general education only. Now, we're gonna go step by step in this video so someone can follow along with along throughout this video. However, if someone wants more of a picture or handout that they can do on their own at home, I have created one. I have a handout that has diagrams of the directions we're going as well as the sequencing and steps to follow along with. And I have created that and put that on my website at cancerrehabpt.com that you can go ahead and check out further and I'll put a link for that down below. So the first thing we're going to start with is the abdomen. You have a lot of deep lymph nodes deep in your abdomen that we want to stimulate. And so by taking your hands, putting them on your abdomen, gently pressing inwards, we're going to take a big belly breath, feeling your belly expand into your hand, and then let your breath go. Well, same thing, I'm going to move my hand over a little bit, breath in, and out. Third, breath in and out. One more, breath in and out. So after that, we're gonna go through and stimulate the lymph nodes throughout the body. And so I'm gonna start with the head and neck lymph nodes. So we have lymph nodes that sit right above the collarbone or clavicle area, as well as right below the ears on the side of the neck. And we're gonna stimulate those. So taking the whole hand, putting it right above your collarbone, and you're gonna do nice large circles that are gentle about eight to 10 in this area. You don't have to press hard throughout this routine. The lymphatic vessels and lymphatic nodes sit right below the skin. And so it's not deep pressure, it's nice and gentle. After eight or 10, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Doing eight to 10 circles in this area at the base of the neck, nice and gentle. And then what we're gonna do is work on the sides of the neck. And so what I like to do is use my hands, open them up so fingers on each side, and then put my hand on below the ear, but my fingers on either side of the ear. And then we're gonna do circles there. You can do eight to 10. And then same thing on the other side. And after we've stimulated the head and neck lymph nodes, we're gonna to go to the armpit lymph nodes. And so whole hand right in the armpit and you're gonna do circles there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, whole hand in the armpit, circles there. Direction doesn't necessarily matter. But after we've done those, we're gonna to go to the lymph nodes that are right in the groin. So they're about where the sitting crease is. So if you bend at your hip, right where that crease is, that's about where they sit. And so we're gonna do both at the same time, hands right on that area, and we're gonna do circles there. It is best to do this routine directly on the skin if you can. 
So then we've stimulated the majority of the major lymph nodes throughout the body. Okay, so we're gonna move on from there. So we're gonna start with the head, neck, and face area. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. So for the face and head and neck, like we said, we already stimulated the lymph nodes that are above the clavicle or collarbone and below the ear. And so we can go back and do them again if we want. But from there, we're gonna move the lymphatic fluid through the vessels to these lymph nodes. So if you think about drawing a line down the middle of the face, the lymphatic vessels move out towards the side away from the middle. They are almost separate groups. So everything in the face have to move below the ear. And from there, everything has to go down the side of the neck and a little bit in the back. And so we're gonna start with this area first to clear. So I take my whole hand, the base of the neck, and I'm going, or base of the ear, excuse me, and move it down towards the base of the neck. And so nice, gentle strokes all the way down. I'm kind of wrapping my fingers around towards the back of my neck as well to make sure that I'm getting as much surface area as possible. We do about five to eight there. If someone has swelling or say they feel a cold coming on or illness, I personally will spend a little bit more time on the head, neck, and face area for that reason. Same thing on the other side, right below the ear, down the side of the neck, wrapping my fingers around the back of the neck five to eight times. And then from there, we're gonna go towards the face. So I like to think of it in sections. I do kind of do below the jaw, kind of right around that lower face, middle, and then forehead. And so starting in the middle, I'm gonna work my way out towards right below the ears. So everything has to go out this direction to then get out of that area. It can't go necessarily straight down. And so you're actually working out to the side. five to eight times. And then we're gonna kind of work up to the side of the face, everything out to below the ear. The same thing under the eye. If someone has a little swelling in the morning, this works really well for that. And then same thing in the forehead, kind of working from the middle out to the sides. Just be gentle if you wanna work on top of the eyelid or on the eye, just be gentle, you don't put a lot of pressure. If you're working up and around towards that lower ear. And after you've done five to eight times there, we're gonna go the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, kind of underneath the jaw and working my way out. And then we're gonna work up into the side of the cheek. And then after you've done five to eight there, we're gonna work underneath the eye. Be nice and gentle. And after you're ready, you can move on towards the forehead from the middle out to the side. And then once we've worked throughout the face or as much as you want, you can spend as much time as you want, then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we clear that. So going back, we're gonna go from below the ear, down the neck again, and kind of work your fingers around the back. Five to eight times. And then same thing on the other side. And after you finish that, you have finished the head neck area. Next, we're gonna move on to the arms. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily matter which one you wanna do first, but a lot of people are told when they do lymphatic drainage to have everything go towards the heart. And at the end of the day, yes, all this fluid makes its way back to the heart. However, the lymphatic vessels that sit under the skin actually all go towards to those armpit lymph nodes first, and then they go deeper to the heart. And so that's the area that we can actually make a difference on, where we can touch. And so everything that we talk about in this area is actually gonna go 
towards the armpits. So think about again, drawing a line down the middle of the body and then across at about where the belly button is. And that section all has to go towards that lymph, those lymph nodes in the armpit on that side. And so I'm on my left side, you might see right, but from the belly button and the middle, all this area we're directing towards the armpit. And so I'm gonna start with the trunk area with the abdomen. And so right about where belly button line is, I'm actually gonna work upwards towards the lymph nodes on the side. That's where a lot of the lymph vessels run. We're gonna work upwards. Again, if someone has lymphedema or they've had lymph nodes removed for a surgery, we're not going that direction, we're actually going the other. But I have other videos about this that you can check out. And then this middle upper abdomen, we're kind of moving up and out to the side a little bit. It's so not directly up, a little bit out towards the side, kind of in the diagonal towards the lymph nodes and towards the armpit. And then you can work your way through your chest as well. So starting from the middle, kind of working your way across. You can kind of go in sections, starting from right below the clavicle or collarbone and all the way down, spending as much time as you need. Again, ideally directly on the skin when you can, but everything directed towards the lymph nodes. So once we've done that, if someone is able to reach on their back or they have help for their back, you wanna think about the middle of the back and everything from that middle and over, again, everything directs towards the armpit. And so I'm by myself, I can't reach that area, but it would be from the middle out towards the armpit. Everything in that direction, even from the top, working outwards to the side. So whatever someone can reach for and spend time with, just direct towards the armpit on the other side and that's the correct direction. And so if you can spend some time there, go ahead and do that, but we're gonna move on. And so we've done this whole trunk area and now we're gonna work into the arm. And so we don't wanna just start with the fingers because it makes sense to kind of work its way up. If this area is backed up for any reason and we start with the fingers, it's just gonna get clogged and backed up here. And so we wanna start closest to the armpit first, working our way down to clear the pathways and then we'll reverse it to work everything up. So I'm gonna start with up in the shoulder and we're gonna kind of work up and around, still going around towards that armpit area. If you're in the back of the shoulder, you can kind of work back and down towards the armpit. Five to eight in each. And then we're gonna think of the arm in section. So upper arm, lower arm, hand and fingers. So with the upper arm first, I'm doing about five strokes or so on the outside of the arm. We're gonna do five or so on the front of the arm. And then we're gonna do same thing on the inner arm. And again, if you wanna spend more time, you can go ahead and do that. Pause when you need to. And then we're gonna do the back of the arm. Gravity does make a difference, it does help. And so anytime you can get that area that you're working above the heart, that's great. Some people will do this laying down, which we'll show with the legs. But for this video, we're just gonna do it standing. So after you've done the upper arm, you can kind of work around the elbow as well. Get through those kind of bony areas with your fingers. We're gonna go kind of in the front of the elbow where the crease is, put our hand right there, and we're gonna just do circles. There are some lymph nodes there, and we wanna make sure we're stimulating them because it can help with the lower arm. So we'll just do five to eight there. And then we're gonna work to the lower arm, and so wrist to the elbow. Just use as much hand surface as you can for coverage, five to eight. Strokes there. And kind of work on all areas, front, back, on each side. I'm gonna work on the inside. And after you've spent the time you need there to get all area of the lower arm, we're gonna go to the hand and wrist, so, or hand and fingers. So I'm just gonna do the back of the hand. And then you can do the fingers all together. Or if someone has swelling, you can do each finger by itself.
and now we've made our way all the way down the arm, so we've cleared the whole area. So we're gonna go in reverse, and so we're gonna go back up the arm doing the same thing. I'm gonna speed up a little bit through this direction. Again, you can pause it if you need to or use the hand out, but we're going back to the hand, and then we're gonna go back to the lower arm, working towards the elbow, towards the armpit. Spending the same amount of time, five to eight, on your own. And once you've done that, you're gonna go back up to the upper arm. So from elbow to the armpit. And you don't have to put deep pressure there. The lymphatic vessels are right under the skin. It's really more of a skin stretch than anything. Inside. And outside. And you can kind of finish with the shoulder. And if we want, we can do a couple circles in the armpit just to make sure we're keeping those lymph nodes stimulated after we've done all of that movement of fluid towards them. So now we're going on and we're gonna do the other side. Same thing. So we're gonna start with the trunk and the abdomen, belly button, middle, and everything working kind of up towards the armpit on that side. I'm doing the side of the body where a lot of the fluid runs. And then if we're going in the front, we're kind of working up to the side, kind of in a diagonal. And after you've done that, you can do the chest. So again, midline and over. So I'm gonna be a little gentle because the microphone's right there, but right below the collarbone or clavicle. And then you can go across the chest from the middle to the outside a few times and the lower chest as well. Again, directed towards the armpit. So spend some time as you want. Same thing for the back. If someone can reach, you're working from the middle towards the back of the armpit on the back. And so I can't reach very far on my own, but that's the direction. So middle, out towards the back. Same thing lower, about the line where the belly button is. That area kind of up diagonally towards the armpit. So go ahead and spend as much time as you need there. Pause if you need to. And then we're gonna move on to the arm. So for the arm, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna do the shoulder, working towards the armpit. And then we're gonna do the upper arm first. We're gonna clear that pathway like we talked about. Doing five to eight in each section. I'm gonna go to the front. I'm gonna go to the inside. Make sure we're also doing the back, elbow to the armpit. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go right around the elbow, making kinda, using our fingers to get around those bony areas. And then we're gonna go also to that inner elbow crease and just do nice gentle circles. We'll do about five to eight. Stimulate the lymph nodes that are there. And then we're gonna go to the lower arm, so wrist to elbow. As much of your hand as possible. Making sure we're getting the back. And now the outside. And then all areas, a handful of times each, or as much as you need. And then we're gonna go on to the wrist or excuse me, the back of the hand and the fingers. So I'm gonna do the back of the hand. If someone has tendons that stick out, you can even use your fingers to kind of get in between those tendons, making sure we're getting that fluid moving. And then working also into the fingers, either all together, or you can go individually for each finger. And 
like we did before, same thing. We've cleared the whole arm, and so we're going back in the other direction to actually get the fluid moving. So we're going back to the back of the hand. Again, you can spend as much time as you need. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit for this, and we're gonna go from the wrist to the elbow. Getting all sides. And then we're gonna do the same thing, just make sure you get around that elbow. That likes to hold some fluid sometimes because it has some pockets in there around the bones. You can do the inside again if you want, but then we're gonna to go to the upper arm. Make sure you're in the back. And then you can finish with the shoulder again. And then when you're done with that whole area, we can finish with some more just gentle circles directly in the armpit. And then once we finish with the arms, we've done with the whole upper body, then we're gonna move on to the legs. So we're gonna do this, the lower legs sitting and laying down so it's easier to see. And so as we think about, like we talked about before, if you think about a line where the belly button is, and then again, down the middle of the body, everything in that lower area has to go to the lymph nodes in the groin, either on the left or the right, depending on the side. And so we're thinking about it from right here where the belly button is, we're gonna actually work downwards down towards the lymph nodes, right where that crease is, which is where the lymph nodes are in the groin. And so everything out in that direction. Again, it's best on the skin directly, if you can, but working everything in that direction. Now, when we think about more of the sides, everything from the back wraps around to the front. And so there are no lymph nodes in your low back. They're actually all into the groin. And so anytime we're working on the side or even into the glute and the hip, we're actually gonna wrap around towards the front. So I'm gonna turn a little so you can see, but from that low back area, it actually is gonna come around towards the front. And so you'll be able to kind of reach as much as you can, working around. So same thing into the hip area and same thing into the glute area. You're really wrapping all of that fluid around towards the front. So once you've spent as much time as you want to in the hip, in that lower abdomen, get everything working towards the pelvis, then we're gonna go into the leg area. And so same thing like the arm, we're thinking about kind of the thigh area, the lower leg, and then the foot and the toes. So I'm gonna start with the thigh and the leg. Again, you can do this sitting up, it's just easier to see on the video laying down, but we're gonna use gravity too. And I'm gonna use two hands, and we're just gonna work in the front of the leg, down towards the crease in the front or the groin. We're working the front five times or so, a little bit more if you want. Making sure we're getting on the sides, all the way from the knee and up. Now, when we get to the back of the thigh, again, there are no lymph nodes in the back, and so again, everything comes to the front. So as we go through the back, we're actually starting to wrap around towards the front. So you're kind of wrapping your hand, you're guiding the fluid from the back of the thigh towards the front, up and around as you go. That's the direction the lymph vessels run. So we're just guiding the fluid in that direction five times or so as you want. And after you've done that, we've cleared that thigh and that hip area as much as you want. Then we're gonna just spend just a moment around the knee, same thing like the elbow, just kind of working around the bony areas. And then we have lymph nodes that are right in the back of the knee. So I'm gonna sit up so you can see a little bit better. But what we're gonna do is just do circles right behind the knee to stimulate those lymph nodes. And if you're following along on the handout, and I've printed that out, you will see that on the back of the diagram as well. 
And after we've done that area, then we're gonna go to the lower leg. And so starting from the ankle, working towards the knee, working upwards, or if you're laying down, leg in the ear, that works just fine too, or leg on a bolster. And done about five or so in the front, we're gonna work to the sides. Spend as much time as you need. And now for the back of the lower leg, like we talked about the thigh, it wraps around. For the lower leg, you can just go straight up the back because of those lymph nodes that are right behind the knee. So you can go straight up the back. And then after we've spent that time in the lower leg doing five or so in each area of the leg, then we're gonna move to the foot and the toes. So on the top of the foot and the toes, we're just working our way upwards. If someone has swelling in their toes, they wanna work in the toes, they can do each toe individually just like the fingers. But one thing that people tend to miss is we wanna make sure we're getting around that ankle bone. So up and around that area is really common for swelling because of the space the fluid can sit in. And then once we make it all the way down, you probably know at this point what's happening, we're gonna work our way back up. And so we're gonna go up, back up to the lower leg, working upwards. Same thing in the back of the leg, you can go straight up the back. And you can do a couple more circles behind the knee if you'd like. And then we wanna make sure we're working around the knee as well. Again, same thing, I'm going a little bit quicker on the way up, you can spend more time. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. And then we're gonna go back to the thigh. And so from the knee towards the front, all sides and remember if you're working the back of the thigh you're working up and around towards the front spend as much time as you'd like you can also go back to the hip. Again, if you wanna, you're gonna work around towards the front, wrapping around the body, low back, same thing. And then once you've hit all areas of the area, you can finish with a couple more circles right in that crease area, right in the groin, just to stimulate those lymph nodes. And then we're gonna move on to their side. So I'm gonna turn to, so it's easier to see. And so same thing, we're gonna start with that lower abdomen first. And so thinking about belly button line, midline and everything, and that lower abdomen working down towards the groin. Or kind of outwards down. Same thing from the side, you can kind of work from the low back around towards the front. And same thing with the hip. Once you've done that lower pelvis area and the hip area and the glute area as much as you'd like, working your way around, we're gonna go towards the thigh. So working from the knee to the front, right in that crease area. I'm gonna work on the sides. And as you kind of you get closer, you're kind of still start to wrap around towards the front, both the inside and the outside, kind of wrap towards the front of the hip. And then same thing in the back, kind of wrap around towards the front as you go. Five 
five or so times in each area. I've just done about three just for timing of the video and then we're gonna move on to the knee, working around the kneecap area. And then again, stopping to do some circles right behind the knee to make sure we stimulate those lymph nodes. And then we're gonna move on to the lower leg, so from the ankle and up, so. Front and the sides. And then we're gonna work in the back. And again, you can go straight up the back of the lower leg or on that calf area to those lymph nodes that are right behind the knee. And once you spend doing about five times or so in each area of the lower leg, then you can move on to the foot and the toes. So working just on the top of the foot and top of the toes, making sure that we get around that ankle bone. And then you can do each toe individually if you need to or if you'd like to, or you can just do them all at the same time. And then last time in reverse for this side. So working back up in the foot and ankle. And if someone has swelling in the foot and ankle, they can spend more time there. But then we're gonna go back up towards the ankle to the knee. And then after we spend more time in the lower leg, getting all areas of that lower leg, we're gonna go to the, around the knee again, kind of work around the kneecap area, around the back of the knee, doing some circles there, working around those tendons back there. And then we're gonna finish back up towards the thigh, going from the knee to the hip crease. As you get towards those sides, so make sure you're wrapping around towards the front at the end there, where the vessels go towards the front, inner thigh and outer thigh. And then as you get into the back of the leg, make sure you're wrapping around as you go. About three to five times or again, as much time as you'd like. If you wanna spend a little bit more time around the hip area, you can do that. Just make sure, again, you're wrapping around towards the front. And same thing with the glute in the low back, wrapping around towards the front. And then we're finished with the legs. So we've made it through the entire body, working from the abdomen to the head and neck area into the upper body and the lower body. We're gonna finish everything off with a few more deep belly breaths. So placing the hand on the abdomen, gently pressing inward with your hand, take a big breath, feel your belly expand into your hand, and then let it go. <sighs> gently sinking your hands into your abdomen. So the same thing, I'm gonna move over a little bit, big breath in and out, a third, I'm gonna lower my hands a little bit, breath in, and out, and one more, big breath in, and out. And that's it. I hope that was helpful and I hope you all could follow along. Again, if you want a handout, you can check out the diagram and the handout on my website. But otherwise, I will see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.